Ciao, I'm Silvana, your pasta expert. Today we are going to talk about fresh pasta, bought in supermarket and why you shouldn't buy it. When you go to the supermarket, you find a quite large variety of fresh pasta with very nice shapes, sometimes um, unusual fillings. And why not? It costs about two pounds, it looks nice, it's quick to cook, takes about five minutes, and it's tasty. However, fresh pasta shouldn't be called like that because it's everything but fresh. In fact, if you look at the package and look at the expiry date, usually it has one or two months shelf life, which is quite long shelf life. Real flesh pasta wouldn't last 10, 10 hours in the fridge. So why they call it fresh pasta when it's not fresh? I like it to call it nicely moisturized pasta because the water content is higher which allow the pasta to cook quicker. In order to sell the pasta, the manufacturer has to do a couple of things uh, to preserve um, the freshness and to give the impression that the pasta is indeed fresh and homemade. So the first thing they have to do once the pasta has been prepared is to pasteurize it. Sometimes it's also uh, pre-cooked a little bit. Then it goes in a drying machine, uh, which they it um, until it reaches an humidity of about 25 to 30%. That's why it has this very soft and a, a fresh feel, because the humidity content is, 30, is about maximum 30%, around 25 usually, whereas dry pasta, the humidity uh, is maximum 12.5%. So it's the double. Um, once it's been uh, dried, the pasta will be put in vacuum uh, sealed bags and then shipped to the shops to be sold. The problem with that is that even though it looks like fresh and not processed, it is very processed because they are made in big batches. So you imagine this big thing where powdered spinach are poured in, uh, processed meat is poured in, preservative is poured in because otherwise the filling wouldn't be um, stored, it wouldn't, the, the, the manufacturer wouldn't be able to store the filling uh, for so long, for one or two months. I mean, um, meat lasts three days in the fridge. After that, it should be thrown away. How come that tortellini lasts two months in the fridge? Is the preservative. Gnocchi are not made with potatoes, they are made with flour potato, flour potato, dehydrated potatoes. This is in order to make it quickly and um, so to, 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 to keep the production running because I hardly can see a big production where uh, the potatoes are boiled, so half an hour to cook the potatoes and then a good hour or so to mash them all as it should be and then uh, it's not feasible. So the manufacturer has to do these kind of things in order to give you the fresh pasta that you long for. So, no, that is not exactly the treat you thought you were giving yourself when you buy fresh pasta. It might look pretty, it might look nice, but you know, it's basically ready meal, no more than that. Preparing your fresh pasta is much better because, first of all, you know what it is inside and you can choose whichever ingredients you want. If you want egg-free fresh pasta because you cannot eat eggs, you can do it. If you don't want to put cheese in your filling, you're, you can do it, you don't have to. If you want um, blue pasta, you can add the coloring if you like. You can personalize it 
and make whatever you like with your fresh pasta if you do it at home. The second thing that um, um, the advantage of making at home is that it's therapeutic. I know that many people think, oh my god, I have no time to spend making pasta because it takes time. Okay, that's true, it takes time. And usually when we buy fresh pasta, it's because it takes a few minutes to cook and we have a meal ready in about five minutes if you want to put um, butter and sage uh, on the pasta. And making pasta, right, for the kneading time that takes about 15 minutes minimum, and then the, the proving time, which is about an hour, and then there is the, the working on it, the shaping, and depending how um, quick you are, it may take up to an hour, if no more. I mean, to prepare a plate of pasta, or more, more than two hours, it, you might think it's not worth. Well, yeah, but you don't have to do it alone. You can do it on a Sunday with your family, which is a brilliant way, making pasta together, a bond instead of just watching TV. And then, freeze it. You can freeze it, and when you need it, it will come straight from the freezer into your pot of boiling water. And it doesn't take five minutes to cook. It takes a minute or less when it's really fresh pasta. So there you go for the quick meal. Um, it's therapeutic because kneading and doing things with your hands and as repetitive things, folding the pasta, putting the, uh, cutting, the, uh, cutting the pasta, putting the, the filling in, folding it and do it over a certain amount of time, it really relaxes you. It's like um, knitting, it's like drawing, it's like making art. It's something that take your hands off bad things and the problem you have and relax you. So making pasta is good for your health because you know what you put inside, good for your mind because it relaxes you. And another advantage that not many people realize when making fresh pasta at home is that you preserve all the vitamins and amino acid content that the pasta has. Um, wheat is rich in uh, vitamin B and certain amino acid of which are right now I don't remember the name. Processing the flour um, ha um, as they do in a, a pasta uh, factory with um, kneading machines um, means that the blades that are in metal spinning quite quickly overheat and the heat will destroy the vitamin B. Then it will get destroyed even a bit more with um, the pasteurization and the pre-cooking if this happens. And then, you know, the storage, the more time it stays in storage, the more, uh, the more vitamin B is going to get loose because usually it's in a white package and obviously uh, all the vitamins that once the pasta had oxidate ego. So <clears throat> the vitamin B and the amino acid, all the rest, all the micronutrients of which the wheat is, uh, is rich, will stay there because when we need it by hand, we uh, preserve most of the vitamin I mean, all of them, because our hands won't uh, pre-cook the dough. And then, since it takes, I mean, 30 seconds maybe, I never counted it, because it's re really, as soon as you put it into the hot water, it comes, it comes cooked up. So it really stays nothing to the water. So it, the cooking uh, does not destroy vitamin B and other micronutrients of which the wheat is rich. And this is obviously an advantage because when you eat, you don't eat only because it's tasty and you, will feel, and you want to fill your belly, but also because you want to nourish your body. And, you know, instead of taking uh, popping pills and multivitamins, just eat a bit better. Thank you for listening. Bye.